are now close to 172,000 cancer survivors in Connecticut, and that number is just going to increase as survival rates grow. And this weekend, the 8th Annual CT Challenge Charity Bike Ride will raise funds for the much-needed programs to support these survivors. Here to fill us in are Scott Caposa, a cancer survivor who's riding in the challenge, along with Aidan Charles, a coach and team director for the Aetna Cycling Team. Gentlemen, thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. Thank so, you. Scott, tell me about this event. Looks like there was a huge turnout last year by that picture. Yeah, last year we had unprecedented growth for the Connecticut Challenge. Uh, the ride started in 2005 with 200 riders and a handful of very passionate volunteers. Last year we had over 1,100 riders and over 300 volunteers. Wow. Um, and we raised $1.5 million for programs and services around the state for cancer survivors. So it was really an amazing event. We're just continuing to grow on that success. And we should mention that the, the number of cancer survivors keeps growing in the state. So it's so positive. And all the money goes to that? Absolutely. Um, the, 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 the driving force behind Connecticut Challenge, the, the entity of Connecticut Challenge, um, is a, a fellow survivor by uh, the name of Jeff Keith, who 30 years ago lost his leg to osteosarcoma, uh, was treated at Dana-Farber in Boston, and as an adult, he went to their survivorship clinic in Boston, but realized that there weren't any survivorship clinics here in the state of Connecticut to meet the needs of survivors here. So with the funds from the first couple of Connecticut Challenge rides, they started the first survivorship clinic in the state at, at Yale New Haven Hospital. And then it has expanded so that now over half the hospitals in the state of Connecticut get some sort of funding from Connecticut Challenge to have a survivorship program in place for survivors. Yeah, that's success. That's fantastic news. All right, Aiden, tell me about the Aetna Cycling Team and how you guys are taking part in this challenge. Well, this is the first year Edna's coming on board as a corporate sponsor. We're pretty excited to be part of what is probably one of the most, the premier cycling event or charity cycling event in Connecticut this year. Mm -hmm. And we're excited to rally a group of 20 individuals, both as a racing team that's participating that races all over the country and as an employee-based um, riding team. So we're going to have a pretty good contingent out this year, and we're really hope, uh, hoping to grow the program as it years come along. Sure. Talk to me about the course a little bit. I mean, either of you can, but you could be an expert or really just a beginner. Oh, yeah. There's <laughs> definitely a very, very challenging 100-mile ride, which is going to bring out people from probably all over New England and beyond, which is going to be pretty exciting. That's a big challenge for any avid cyclist. But then there's also a 10-mile beginner ride, mm -hmm. and that's a great way for people to get started, especially you know cancer survivors just getting over uh, chemotherapy or any sort of... Uh, issues that they may have. But there's a way for everybody to participate, which is cool. Great. Um, and uh, Scott, tell me about the recently formed Connecticut Challenge Survivorship Network. So the Survivorship Network is um, is those those hospitals uh, that are in Connecticut. Oh, they're the ones that are getting the funding you were talking right, about? Right, exactly. And so, again, you know, it started here in New Haven, but then it's ex it's expanded to, to Bridgeport, to Torrington, to Waterbury, to Hartford, um, because survivors couldn't all always make it to New Haven and so that was the idea behind the Connecticut ah, challenge I understand. that it reaches out to all the corners of the state and you've taken part in all of the rides I have yes what's your uh, training like um, you know it's funny Aiden and I were talking about this a little bit earlier it was it was definitely more consistent early on and then uh, uh, this year um, I have a I have a one-year-old at home so training kind of fits around nap times and, <laughs> and, and that sort of thing um, but I'll be doing the 50 this year that's usually the right the distance that I do um, but it's it's a great event and it's been such a positive experience to be part of. And do you practice with your team? Is that how it works? Or does everyone do this individually? Like, well, the team does practice together at times, but then other people go out, or other members of the team will go out and train on their own and just whenever they can fit into their schedule. And so depending on the ride you're trying to go out and do, uh -huh. you know, people may need to do any, any ride from a 30-minute spin, mm -hmm. right? to a four or five hour training endurance ride on the weekend. So it can be as big or a little commitment as you want to make it. Got it. Now Scott, uh, can you come and be a spectator? Absolutely. You can be a spectator, be a volunteer, um, you know, especially you know, along the courses. Um, you know, it, it's, the more spectators and, and support we get out there, the, the better off we are. Very good. Well, let's put the information up on the screen if you want uh, to head out there this weekend. It's the 8th Annual CT Challenge Charity Bike Ride. It's happening this Saturday, July 28th in Westport. For more info, go to ctchallenge.com. And, of course, we'll also have that information on WTNH.com. Gentlemen, thanks for sharing all the information, and good luck this weekend. Thank you. All right.